Hello everyone, welcome to episode 7 of the RSS mod. Uh, now we've got a, a lot of sh ships, pretty much. Uh, we're trying to get as much out of this launch window as possible. We're going to send a whole fleet of ships. So, first ship we have is the Crew Mars vessel. This is where the curve will sit, and this will be put into an orbit around Deimos. Right now you might be like, there's no Delta B. Well, we've got two other ships to help out with that. So we've got the Crew Mars Pusher right over here and it's just uh, some Nerva engines with some feel uh, but that alone is it's almost enough especially with air raking but to make air raking easier I got the what is it? I think I called it the oh wait no the Johnson Mars Extender after one of my subscribers who's commented on multiple videos of the series and this one it has enough fuel to make sure the mission gets done. And also, it comes with a heat shield. Oh, so we got a heat shield. We shouldn't need too much ablative. of Mars' atmosphere is so thin that uh, I don't see a need for any. But this docks onto the top. I have an assembled version of the whole ship, or at least the first ship, and then I have to show you the other ones. Uh, this is Crew Mars assembled. So this is the whole ship. Um, those side ones are going to be spent just going to Mars, so those will be gone, will be a lot skinnier looking. And um, these tanks are designed to be jettisoned at around the same part where we fix our inclination to Mars, so that's like in deep space. If I did keep them, I'd probably put heat shields on them just to increase their drag. That way we could uh, air brake a lot better. But I've tested out this ship, I've just cheated it to orbit, it works fine. Uh, we even have some fuel left over, so that's good. We just gotta get it there. Also, uh, one thing of note, our solar power there is gonna be abysmal. So I put in a lot of batteries, but I don't even think that's gonna be enough for research. Oh, our crew, it's gonna be Jeb. So Jeb is no longer gonna be a pilot for us, so we're probably gonna have to switch over to Val. We're gonna have to train her. Uh, so she actually gets some stability assist. When we're not gonna have any engineers yet, but once we get a mining ship, or at least the mining research branch, because we didn't unlock it by now, so that sucks. But we'll have a uh, Sibus, Kerman, and Bob, and they'll be leveled up by the time we get there, because um, that's what this crew station is. Which means now we can just have a command station away from Kerbin, and we can level up Kerbals out there. Which is nice. There we go. We have Mars Scout, which is probably one of my more favorite missions to go in there, because it is incredibly cheap, as you can see. And it has a lot of capability. This is basically going around uh, the Dimos, the moon, but it has enough fuel to make it to probably both moons in a single lifespan. And we've got a docking port, or whatever we might need a docking port. Four, we could send two scouts, dock them together, and just expend one as like a fuel tank, and this thing could go anywhere. Except maybe land, because there's no air on Mars, pretty much. It's like a vacuum there. And you'll see why I know that from the Mars Martian tree. So this is my little Christmas gift for the career mode. Hopefully I can get all these missions done before then. And as you can see from all the parachutes and all the heat shields, it takes a bit to get down there. Assuming this makes it. It should make it, but it's like close. So close in fact. That I don't want it to be that close. So we're adding a we're adding a second booster. Which is gonna increase costs, especially since we don't have parachutes on these. I'm not going to add them either, because that's a lot of work. But I'm sure that's fine. Uh, no. I think you guys? Yeah. There we go. Just an extra few hundred meters a second. Just to make sure this mission works. Alright. Crew Mars is now in orbit. Let's get the others. Uh, 
Uh, the pusher is in a better position than Rendezvous. For now, we're going to... Okay, hold up. The pusher is probably at his periapsis too. Let's switch to that. We'll shrink both of their orbits until they catch up. And then we'll raise them, and then rendezvous, and then dock. Maybe not dock, but depends. Okay, we just missed our periapsis. That's annoying. But it's okay. Okay, my periapsis is shrinking. Which is not good. I'll switch to Johnson, lower his apoapsis, super low orbit, but we'll catch up fast, hopefully. And we'll we'll probably raise Grumar as well, just to help. Okay, so Johnson is now in a lower orbit. That's stable. Grumar's pusher. I gotta raise the periapsis of. All right, now let's fix the Johnson Mars extenders. Uh, inclination. We'll turn early. Okay. Good. Let's make sure... Alright, so we're gonna have to burn prograde a tad at our app pops. It's just, just it's right here, so I'm not too worried. Let's raise Crew Mars' orbit real quick since we have the extra fuel. This thing has a lot more feel than the other ones. Yeah, we have like 700 meters a second left, and this isn't even going to Mars. Pretty good. Alright, well, we're at our periapsis. We don't really want to be there. What is this X232? It's, I feel like it's extra feel. But I'm not sure. There we go. We'll rendezvous from Crew Mars. You know, if you want to learn how to rendezvous and dock, just like me, I got a video on it right in my channel. If you just click my channel, you'll see it right down there. Like, I think just before the series, if, if I remember right. And that's in regular KSP too, so you're not gonna need like monstrous vessels to dock. You can just dock anything. Come on. There we go. Big ship. Uh. You guys are all full. We should be good to ditch this wolf pound now. I don't really care about the extra. extra fuel. Actually, never tested if that would unlock, so I'm glad it did. Okay. This is something I have not trained for. But we're gonna try it. We're gonna dock backwards to the pusher now. So that it's at the correct angle. We're both still heading over there. Oh, that's weird. All the controls were reversed. Okay. And... Well, that was pretty easy. Turn off SAS. Come on. There you go. Okay. Thank you, autosaving. Oh, damn! That was smooth! Okay. Uh, let's make a save. Crew... Mars... Assembled in orbit Earth. There we go. I don't think I could get confused on that. Uh, Crew Mars is ready to go to Mars in an orbit. How long is that? An hour? Yeah, let's get the uh, the scout and the Christmas tree into orbit. 
I will look at this in the day. Uh, it's 23 minutes, yeah. Okay. For the video. For the video. I'd risk the whole mission. Even though the mission's the video. Uh, it's beautiful. First, these tanks are gonna drain into these side boosters. Then we ditch the side boosters. Or wait, no. Hold up. How does it go? I'm pretty sure these drain first. Then we dish the side boosters, then these drain into the main tank. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Alright, uh... Let's go to the space center. And launch the scout and a tree into order. The tree I'm more worried about because it is a hell of a mission plan. It can only land in one location on Mars because of how stock parachutes work. Um, and it's comprised of wing parts, so it's a bit finicky through the atmosphere. I couldn't get it stable all the way. Okay, scouts in orbit. Let's make a big save. Scout in orbit for Mars. Now let's launch the Christmas tree. Jesus Christ, what was that? Well, I guess we're launching like this now. Okay. Tree in orbit. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send, I'm gonna rendezvous them all with hacks, come back to this quick save, and then we'll do all the missions. Um, because I want a good picture for it. Or I could do it legit. I don't know. We just take a really long time to rendezvous. Well, it's only three things. Uh... I mean, cheating for just the thumbnail. Okay, this is uh the biggest crossover ever. Bigger than Infinity War. We got the Scout, the most capable ship for some fucking reason. We have this guy. We actually have our station wrong. I think these go first. Yeah, there we go. 8,000. That's way better. And we have the tree, which actually is the least capable ship out of all of them. Because we use the atmosphere for everything there, because this is Mars based. We can dive bomb into it and somewhat accomplish the mission. And this also has a relay. So. Now that we've met the gang, and we probably won't use this as a thumbnail, that's so dumb. Unless we do the Mars burn, and then save Mars for a future episode, but then I don't, don't want to do that. That'd be boring. Jesus. Uh, Mars, friend, that's before we launch them all. The number of flights changes so much. Uh, tree in orbit, that's the one. Also, our reputation's a lot lower, because I needed the discount. Say goodbye to Earth, guys. Actual daytime burn. I'm loving that. Uh, okay, yeah, this is all full. We have the extra thrust away having three engines here, so that's pretty good. But we're gonna ditch that halfway through the burn. We could theoretically keep it and uh, drain some fuel from the side tanks just so that this burn wouldn't take as long, but. Nah. Alright, well, I guess. I guess I just wait. Alright, Mars Scout, your turn. Or, wait, what? No, Mars Scout. Switch to. Hopefully this burn doesn't take 14 minutes. Uh-oh. The Kraken has this one. 
I don't even need the nav ball though, so whatever. Kraken can have the nav ball. He needs a chew toy. This is really cool. We'd have to go faster than, um... What the hell happened there? Maybe I shouldn't be messing around with the Kraken. Because all the planets are kind of shifting off of their intended places. I don't really like that. But we're gonna... We're just, we're just gonna come back to this. It's only a three minute burn. So there's plenty of time for the Christmas tree to get in there. Okay. I'll uh I'll just switch back and forth then. Um uh we'll see what we've saved. We've saved again. We're, we're we're gonna rejoin the game. And hope it didn't break the other two missions. Otherwise, well, my community pull is kind of wrong. well. The community pull is still right. Um, because the crew Mars ship is three ships, so community pull is still right. And the game crashed as I quit it. Oh my god! Look at that cinematic. Uh, we have to switch to the tree pretty quickly, though. I think he's getting near. Yeah, it's like right there, depending on its engines, and I know it's nuclear, so we gotta start burning now. All right, we have two things leaving Earth. We just gotta aim somewhere in the middle of them, and we're like guaranteed a decent approach. So we're gonna get to Mars, I think, with around 300 meters a second left for my tests. It could fluctuate a bit depending on when we launch, how we're burning here, and other crazy wacky stuff. This still has 100 seconds left on it. The Scout was the easiest burn. I love that burn. It was like, done. Uh, two and a half hours into the recording, if anyone's wondering. Look how cool this looks. It's not that great, honestly. It is not that great, but it's gonna be the first thing to land on Mars, and it's Christmas Eve, so I might as well. I wonder if I'll get there before midnight. This will probably be my favorite mission plan in the series. Until Jupiter mission gets there, because I've already got a path for that that can reach every moon in a single go. Which is pretty cool. This is just so cool. Uh, oh, we're not running our alternator. We should turn off our lights before we... Oh, we're actually going past the scout. Because we're matching right with Earth's uh, pathway. Look at this. It's gorgeous. And even if um, the scout runs out of control, we've got the relay on the tree, and the relays on crew Mars. Crew Mars can also just directly control them, so it depends. This is like a... Uh, what's it called? There's there's a series, they went to Mars in the second season. Uh, for all mankind, for all mankind. Um, like all, all those countries were going there at the same time, and you could like, see the other ships. I think that's pretty cool. Tree and Crew Mars are on our way. Now we're gonna see if Mars Scout has a signal or not. I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't. Maybe it's energy? No. It's making energy. These are just too weak. Are they really? We don't even have crew control. I have an idea. It's the only thing I can think of. Try and do the burn by hand. And 
and uh, get it close enough to Mars to where we actually get a signal. Scout, I'll do this. I think the scout is doing it. It's it's already around Mars, isn't it? Our scout one, no way. Yep, we're already around Mars. With the scout, I I didn't expect that. Uh, we're lacking in signal, so we can't even get science if we wanted to. That sucks. Luckily, we have a lot of Delta D. Fifteen hours. Uh, they're still not here, but it looks like Martian tree will get here first at this rate. All right, slow the hell down. All right, Martian tree is next, which sucks. I don't like this mission as much as the other ones because this one's like iffy. I mean, we have to get it just right into the atmosphere, or, or we will burn up, or not enter orbit correctly. Oh, well, oh yeah, uh, here's Mars, guys. Whoops, forgot to, forgot to show you. Oh, that's way better. We're getting like a G of acceleration here. 1.5 Gs of acceleration, damn, 2 Gs. 2 Gs of force slowing down. And that's our arrow break. That's too much of an arrow break. It's a lot of an arrow break. Uh, just, just slow on down with that. You don't, don't want to be this tight of an orbit. I, I was expecting a bit, a bit more margin there. Come on. Can we turn? Atmospheric forces are too great. All right, just, <clears throat> just uh. Okay, we're at fifty. We're slowing up. Slowing down. All right, that actually went pretty well, despite you know the five minutes of panic. Because now we're gonna be really slow here, right? And if we're really slow there, or at least slower there, it's gonna cost less. We have enough fuel. I'm calling it right now. We have enough fuel. Because all we have to do is go into Dynamos Orbit, and that's where this thing rests. It, I don't need anything else, right? Ooh. Come on, I know you want that encounter. Hell yes. I still did it. Collision course. Let's go! No, I just realized... <clears throat> We were supposed to uh, drain this out and abandon it to keep Delta V, like after we were done arrow break, but we kept it. There we go. You guys would click on that, right? Ah! <laughs> I got the screenshots. I just pressed the wrong button. <laughs> uh, this thing has enough Delta V to, you know, switch orbits a couple hundred more times. That's cool. Alright, this recording is super long, but I'll try and uh, get the tree down for the next part. And the Martian Scout, I'll get down next episode, because it is just way too late. Alright. ISP is being decreased. Let's slow down. This is gonna take the last of our fuel to do. Deploy that. Turn off time warp. Let's try and decrease our minimum. Oh, we already did that. Alright, looks like that's as slow as we're getting. Lots of lag. Looks like we did it. Well, it's not over yet. But since our parachutes are deployed and we're slow. We're pretty safe. Jesus, shook the whole planet. Yeah. And still, this is like 2,000 meters over sea level. It's not even the best. Let's uh, make sure we get power. Just getting one of them up so we don't lose the ship. 
And we're still going 12 meters a second, which is why I'm quick saving. We could very easily get knocked over, depending on our uh, spring strength. I can't see this thing at all with all the uh, parachutes in the way. Okay, let's retract that real quick for landing. This thing cannot flip itself back over. I was going to give it a reaction wheel to do it, but... Okay. Not quick save. Okay. Um, maybe we'll try 1.5 for our first go. It's probably going to take several attempts to get the right stuff for landing. And... Ooh. Oh! First try! Hell yeah! Well, first, like, parachuted try. We got our little tree up on Mars. Get our lights on. And try and get a good angle. There's not really much to see, though. Unless you look up there. You can see Earth. It's a little black blob right now. You know what? Not bad. Basically just a relay station. But we've got stuff like science. Uh, we're gonna have to extend our star, basically. We're gonna lose power and die. Hellas Basin. Yep, I got the name right. Unless I'm saying it completely wrong. Maybe it's Hellas Basin, not Hellas. And we got our lights on. And we have just enough power to maintain all that. Alright, and... <laughs> All the side uh, heat shields got destroyed. That's our little star. Well, I don't know why I did that. Well, 1,500 science. Not bad at all. Why can't I go to the space on Alright. Now just one last mission. And our Mars trip isn't done yet. Uh, but that's next time on Dragon Ball Z. Let's spend the science and wrap up the episode of a four and a half hour long recording. Just want to say that real quick. It took forever. Um, now we have to think. We're probably going to have to upgrade research station. Ugh, uh, can we even afford that? No. No, we cannot. Crap. So we can't get mining stuff yet. But we're really close, and once we get these drills and these uh, convertitrons, we're going to be rolling in it. Also, that's heavy as hell. This stuff is heavy. Uh, sending that to Mars in the first place is going to be a problem. Like, this is weighing as much as um, the crew Mars. So... Yeah, this... this oh man, the mining missions... To make uh, in space refueling possible, it's gonna be a pretty hefty task. Uh, but we still have a lot of like space plane science we didn't get, mostly because we don't really need it. Probe shoot wouldn't work on Mars. Yeah, it wouldn't. Large volume containment, and I want those, but I can't afford it, so we're pretty much stuck in a gray area. Um, since I can't decide what to get. Just leave down in the comments below uh, what tech tree branches I should get. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna save like 800 for these two, and then I'll grind for some money between episodes. So that means these are all open, but you can leave your suggestions in the comments, and I'll be able to get to them because well, like two people watch the series. Uh, we did the Mars missions. That that's a shock to me. We got a Christmas tree on Mars on. Uh, Christmas Eve. Alright, if you guys liked that video, make sure to hit that like button, and uh, comment down below what you'd like to see next. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff in the near future that we're going to be doing. Probably finishing up the Jupiter mission, and getting some more Martian stuff done. Maybe send a Kerbal down there, you can jetpack if you want. Uh, let's check our orbit, just double checking. And uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's get us to a thousand by the end of the year, let's go! No, I'm kidding. Uh, but, subscribing greatly appreciated. Viewing this video is greatly appreciated as well. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time.